How does the power amp inside of a DVLA phantom work? This question comes to us thanks from Pascal in Saint Jean Solomou, France. I'm sure I butchered that and I apologize. <laughs> My French, you know, isn't all that great. Hey Paul, I've done quite a bit of reading about hi-fi and high-end today and I was reading an article about ADH, Analog Digital Hybrid. It's the French company DVLA who developed this technology, it said. The ADH technology <clears throat> is based on using two technologies, the analog amplifier that generates optimal resistance load while four digital amplifiers generate phantoms incomparable power. Any comment about ADH's technology or explanations regard Pascal? Well, sure. It's nothing really that trick. It's, it's been around for quite a while. I, I'm sure they've come up with some fancy schmancy uh, version of it, but it's, it's something, and I'll explain to you how it works. So DVLA is kind of a cool company. They're French. They're trying to do something really different, and they're owned by, well, partially by LVMH, if you've ever heard. It's a luxury group. I think it's Louis Vuitton. He's got like, oh, I don't know, they make everything from cognacs to, uh, well, you know, handbags, and it's a, it's a luxury brand. They, they are part owners in DVLA, and uh, DVLA seems to be sort of the darling out there of of uh, people who want to have a cool three or four thousand dollar Bluetooth speaker in their house. So if you've ever seen one of these things, they're called the Phantom. They're kind of a round ball that is on a stand. They have phenomenal bass. I think these things have like 4,500 watts that they put in. And I've heard them before, and I'm not a big fan of the speaker. I mean, it's it is stunning the bass that they put out. There's there's side mounted woofers that really uh, kick booty in the very low end. But when it comes to mid-range, top end, I, I'm just, it, it doesn't suit my musical tastes. I, I'm just not a big fan. But they are extremely cool. Perhaps the best sounding Bluetooth speaker in the world. So that, that's something pretty good. And people love them. Everybody from Jay-Z to uh, Tim Cook at Apple apparently are enamored with this speaker. I mean, it's it's kind of cool. It's pretty cool. All right. So how do they get 4,500 watts, whatever it is they're claiming, which, by the way, we can only get about 1,600 watts, maybe 1,500 out of the wall. So when you hear claims about 4,500 watts, it, it, they're a little suspect. You just can't get that out of the wall, not long term. I mean, you can, in our power plants, for example, we get huge peaks peak current up to 60 amps, which is like 6,000 watts. But that's, that's for a very brief portion of a second. And so I don't know where they get off with these claims of 4,500 watts. But in any case, marketing schmarketing, right? <laughs> um, let's talk about their amplifiers. So this amplifier technology was first introduced to me years ago by a Canadian company that called it BASH. And I don't remember, BASH is an acronym for something, but I, I don't remember. It's been, it's been a number of years. And there's been oh, variations of this kind of design around for forever. Essentially, what it does is takes an analog amplifier, regular class AB amplifier, just picture whatever circuitry you're thinking of in a class AB amplifier. And it uses that as the actual device that connects up to the speakers. And now we have a standard Class AB amplifier, which we know, some of us, if you watch uh, this series, you'll know that the, uh, a, a Class AB amplifier is about 50% efficient on a good day. So half of the power consumed goes into heat, the other half goes into the speaker. Now, that said, they don't have a lot of heat and there are no visible heat sinks on the DVLA Phantom. So how do they do that? And they also they used to make an integrator. I don't know if they still do. Pretty cool little integrated. And what they do is use Class D amplifiers 
to modulate the power supply feeding the class AB amplifier. So imagine an amplifier. We know that it, typically a power amplifier has very high rails. We call them rails. They're the plus and the minus voltage. And in many amplifiers, they're up there about plus and minus 80 volts. So call it 160 volts across the amplifier. And that voltage is where all of the heat comes from because as the amplifier sits between that voltage and then tries to move up and down cr to create a large sine wave to power your loudspeakers as it's traveling up to its very top of the of the power supply range um, all that travel uh, is that distance between the plus and the output signal creates heat and that's where the the the, the heat and the loss of efficiency come from. What DVLA does is use a very efficient, 95% uh, efficient class D amplifier, which we've talked about before. And that amplifier is what is going up and down in concert with the signal. So as the signal rises, so too does the power supply, always staying 5, 10 volts uh, away from the signal. So there's never more than about 5 to 10 volts of difference between the signal and the power supply. Thus, there's almost no heat. And as it rises, it goes up and down like that. So that's how this, they, they you know, they have this, what is it, ADH? An analog Digital Hybrid. Yeah, well, so there's the analog part is the actual amplifier itself. The digital part is their class D power supply that is going up and down, which used to be called BASH, which is used in a number of uh, various types of amplifiers over the years. Nothing really new, but it is cool. And uh, I wish them the best of luck. I, I love seeing innovation in our field, in our passion. And those guys are innovating. Are, in, uh, are innovating, and I really appreciate what they're doing. So hang in there, and I hope that answers your question. All right, Pascal, thanks. Talk to you tomorrow.